What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Here we are on the saltwater mixing station. Um, I just put in this milk creeks just so it could be a little bit higher. I don't have to bend my back that much. As you guys can see, just to do a um, quick demonstration was um, how this thing works. And so you guys have an idea, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you already know But this is just for those that have never seen this before A saltwater missing station The way this thing work is You connect your RODI unit To enter this um, container Depend how many gallons you're gonna be making And how much your container can hold so that's what you're gonna be doing. So basically I set up my check valve here on the 10 gallon mark. Um, and you guys can see it's already filled up with water. So one thing I wanna do now, since I don't wanna mix all 10 gallons of water, I gotta turn five gallons from here to over here, right? So in order for me to do that, all I gotta do is just open this valve right here. So open the first one. So water's gonna start traveling through here. Go through the pump, can go this way because this one is closed. It's gonna go through here. And now I want the water to come in here. So it's gonna keep going up, boom, until it shows there. Then in there, I got two little Marked one is the five gallon, one is the ten gallon. So once I get to the five gallon mark, I'm gonna stop it. So I'm gonna open this one. And since uh, right now it's siphon, it's probably gonna try to get even with this one. But just for me to make it a little bit faster, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the pump. Nice to see. It's full of water. So I was checking earlier for no leaks. I know it's kind of dark in there. But I already checked for no leaks. So like I say, once I get to that five gallon mark, I stop the pump from flowing more water to that side. I got an extra pump in there, you can see it that good, but just to make sure I mix my salt a little better, or faster, better say. So this side is going up, and this side is going down. That middle line right there, that's the seven and a half gallons. So I just did that just, you know, so I know how much uh, water is left in the bucket or in the garbage bin. So I'm getting close to the five gallon mark. So like I said, once you get to your five gallon mark, it's getting closer and closer. This way, bear with me. So now this got into the five gallon mark. What you're gonna do is you're gonna shut this side off. So water stop coming from here. So you shut it. And what you're gonna do so water starts circulating around, you're gonna open this one. So now water is just going in circle motion like that. So no more water is coming from this side of the um, this is only going to be always RODI water, no salt in this one. So now you guys probably can see that much of the movement, but it's already moving in there. Perfect. So I make sure it's closed. Now I'm going to mix some salt. I don't know if you guys, um, you know, for those um, beginners, how you get your 
perfect salinity in the salt water aquarium. So you got a five gallon bucket. You do two and a half cups of salt and that give you um, a gravity of 1.2.26 or 1.0026. So that's a perfect um, salt water mix for a salt water corn. I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing what I know. All right, so now that I got the water that I wanna mix in here, what I do is, by the plug, I got an extra plug right here. Um, this is gonna plug in here. Sorry for the noisy, but let's see. Yes, yep. So now that helps me to mix the water even more. But I don't like that noise, so I'm gonna fix that. All right, so give me a second. So now that I fix the noise, you guys can hear now. Now it's nice and quiet. I had the pump facing up. <clears throat> I had an elbow on it, but it's not the right um, elbow for it, um, for the exit of the pump and it came off. So I just put the pump sideways. And as you guys can see, it's, it's moving nicely. So what you wanna do now, you're gonna get your salt. And slowly, you're just gonna throw it in there. You know, don't don't throw it at once because if you throw it at once, you're gonna make a big clump of salt in the on the bottom. It's not gonna mix right. So that's what I do. I always shake it like that so I can rain on the water. It's raining so on the water, on the water, on the water. Yeah, I'm a little bit crazy. But this thing is cool, man. I, like, I always wanted to do one of these things. And let me tell you. Let me tell you guys, if you guys have the space to do it, I recommend you guys doing one a salt water mixing station. Even though for me right now, it's, it's still a little struggle. I still got to um, feel if I'm going to do a five gallon water change for the tank upstairs, I still got to fill it up and bring it upstairs. But now I can make 10, have 10 um, gallon ORLDI water ready and 10 gallons of salt water mix already ready. You know, before I couldn't have that, you know, we just all in five different five gallon buckets and, and no lie I can show you I got a bunch of five gallon buckets laying around and now it's a little bit easier for me you know now if I want five gallon I mix five gallons and keep the other one and once you get that just do a little dip you got everything and just leave it there until it get mixed. That's basically about it. So you guys can see, it's in the five gallon mark. And over here, it's a little bit lower because the rest of the water is in the line. I don't think that's gonna affect that much on the salinity. So, I'm gonna do a video about rating the DIYs and household items and what works and what don't work so that's the video coming up next and since I'm working on this one right now I give this team from one to five I give it a six why because look you can't even hear this thing you know um, the pump that I'm using for this one is this pump right here? Um, Imaginarium Powerhead, no promo. It's just a nice pump. 
is all rated. You guys can see right there, 303 gallons per hour, 20 watts. Um, heck, max feet, I don't know what that means, but 5.08 feet. It's a nice, nice um, pump for a lot of projects. You can do a lot of projects with this thing. That's the pump right there. Can beat it, man. So, you know, if, if even, even if you got a huge tank, even, you know, if your tank is, let's say, 90 gallons, 100 gallons, you know, you can go wrong by, by weekly doing a 10 gallon water change. You can go wrong. You know, and selling something simple like this, small, you know, that you can fit anywhere. Um, just to show you guys, a quick sample, sorry for the mess. Those that don't know, I'm a barber. I work from my house. I gotta upgrade my chair, I know that chair is, you know. But look, just so I can show you guys how big this thing is. You know, look from the beginning. It's only 28 inches wide. You know, and if I go from the bucket down, it's 23 inches tall. So I don't, I don't take that much space. You know, anybody can build this thing and 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 put it anywhere they want. So it's definitely a must-have. You know. Like I say, just take your time, do your research, see where you want to um, locate it at, where you want to have it at, and go from there. And that way you always, you know, either you want 10 gallon, have 10 gallon ready, 10 gallon ready of salt, 10 gallon of RODI water, or vice versa, you know, have 10, move 5 over here, you know, and you go from there. And that's it. So, like I say, um, once I mix the salt and it's ready for me to do a water change, all I gotta do, I gotta shut this one off. Boom, shut it off. And then water's still gonna go through here, wanna go through the pump. So now I need some water to do a water change on the tank. I gotta open this bulb right here and water will shoot through here. And that's about it. That's how the salt water mixing station work. All right. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, stay tuned for the um, DIYs and household item. What work and what don't work. Was worth it to spend the money on, and was not. I don't got that many. I do a few DIYs and I buy a few um, household items to work on on the fish tanks and stuff like that. You know, here I made a stand. It's a worth it. You know, we will talk about that in another video. And, but this thing right here, man, for the price that I invested on it, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's going to make things a little bit easier for me. All right. So there you guys have it. That's my update on this um thing and showing you guys how it works for those that have never seen one before. So this is my saltwater mixing station. All right, Caliso Reef is out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.